I love that I journal my vlogs, but I hate when I have to go back and record them all. <laughs> Terry just laughed at me because yeah, I hate it when you do it too because then you sit here and talk to the computer for an hour. Um, I usually am more creative and I'll like change location or change my shirt or something, but I'm tired. <laughs> so here we go. Um, right before we were to leave Texas, it was the evening before we had already sent my daughter off and she was done and gone and everything was good. The evening before we were to leave, because our flight was to leave at 11 in the morning, our flight was canceled, completely canceled. So they rebooked us on a, a later flight that would now go to New Jersey and then in through instead of Houston and then down to Orlando. So yay, we get to sleep. Actually, you know what? Our first flight, we left at eight. So we had to get up at like the crack of dawn to get there. And now we were, then they, they delayed it to 11. Um, this new flight was 11. So we could sleep in a little bit, which was nice because I was up till three this morning, that morning. And um, yeah, that might've been a little confusing. Our first flight was canceled. Our second flight that they rebooked us was 11 o'clock in the morning and we were going to New Jersey and then to Orlando. Okay. We were up at seven and out the door at eight to go to the airport. Yay. Um, there were all sorts of travel delays because of the, the hurricane that had gone through and all the canceled flights and all the delayed flights and all the flights that hadn't come in. My face looks so funny. I'm looking in the picture and it's like, I got these little pink lines. Clearly I'm in Florida and I've spent a little time in the sun since I've been in Texas. Um, that's the ADHD right there going on. We, we got out of Dallas just fine. And then we got to New Jersey and we were sitting in our gate because we get to our gate and we sit there. Terry will go to the bathroom or I'll go to the bathroom and we'll grab a snack or whatever. But we usually just stay at our gate because it's just easier that time, that way, and, until I'm capable of figuring out how to get into the lounges for free. That's what we do. Anyways, um, we hear over the intercom saying, we are looking for two people to volunteer to take a later flight to Orlando. We're offering $500. Click. I'm like, mm, $500 a piece, that's really not that worth it. And it's gonna be a voucher and we're gonna to have to spend it between this month and this month. And it's just complicated. So we sat there and we didn't respond to it. And then another one comes right behind it. We're now offering $1,000 in flight dollars Da, 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 da. And Terry goes, I'm going to go check and see if it's cash or if it's just a flight or if it's multiple flights or if it's just money that you can spend on flights. And the next thing I know, I get a text and it says, I took it. He didn't consult me. He didn't ask me. He just told me I took it. I'm like, but it's okay. It worked out. Kind of. Um, so <laughs> he's like, I volunteer for tribute, but yeah. Okay. Um, there were the f oh here we go okay here's the story so they load the plane this one girl gets on the plane and she has a carry-on and a personal item but her ticket is only for a personal item so she has to check her carry-on so she comes back to the desk to check her carry-on meanwhile they are counting how many people are on the plane, how many empty seats there are, because they've got like 15 people sitting in standby waiting to get on this flight to go to Orlando. Plus three of us that volunteered as tribute. So while she's there, they count her seat as an empty seat and they give it to somebody else. She's in the lobby. They gave away her seat. She was irate. So she's standing in there like, I'm sorry, you have to just wait a moment. I'm sorry, you just have to wait a moment. I don't think they knew what they had done at that point in time, but the other passengers that hadn't got on the flight were consoling her and trying to be nice to her. And I'm like, I'd be screaming right now. There's nobody to scream at, so it didn't do any good. Anyways, we're standing there and all the little helper people disappear down the, the little airplane entryway. And um, they're gone for like 15 minutes. Next thing you know, the thing's pulling back away from the airplane and the airplane is driving away. And we're like, guess you're not getting on the flight, sweetheart. She was getting madder and madder. So the airline people came out and they told everybody, clearly the plane is pulled away. If you're on standby, you'll have to get on standby for another plane. We can help you. We can book you on a later flight. 
whatever. We can confirm you on a later flight. Oh, that was the other thing. With our ten, with our $1,000 things, they were going to confirm us on the flight for the next morning. Offer us food and um, a hotel to stay in. I'm okay with that. Um, but those 10 people were like, I really want to get on this flight. <laughs> they had been on the cancel flights because of the hurricane. So they all just kind of dissipated. And there stood Terry and I and the other tribute and this woman and this other couple for some reason. I don't know. It was interesting. But we all got our vouch. It took us forever to get our stuff because there was two of us and they were trying to both do it. And they were trying. They were, it was the computers were slow and she wasn't doing it right. First, she gave me a hundred dollars. I'm like, um, it's only a hundred dollars. It's supposed to be a thousand. She's like, oh, no, she gave me, you know, she fixed it. And then we booked a hotel and I'm like, so this says we have to. They only drive to the airport between 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. But our flight's at 6 tomorrow morning. We have to be here a little bit earlier than that. And she said, what, air, what, what hotel did you get? So then she had to cancel the hotel and then reissue us another hotel. And I'm like, okay, here's my phone. Please pick me a hotel that's here by the um, airport that has a, a van transport that I can go 24 hours a day and it won't be a problem. And so <laughs> we got the Hilton. What's worse than that? The Hilton was really nice. Um, they gave us food. We got $120 in food for dinner and breakfast, which was insane. So we went to Guy Ferrari's, Ferrari's um, little restaurant there in the airport and ate. Um, it was kind of cool. I wish I could have tipped the girl the rest of the money, but I didn't. I wasn't able to. They can't take a tip, a voucher for a tip, which I think is dumb. But um, we ended up using it the next day. Oh, and coffee at Starbucks. So I used, we used all of our vouchers. So that was nice. Um, the food at Guy's place was really, really, really yummy too. So when you can't eat very much, everything tastes really good. I felt bad though, because I dissected, I ate half of my burger and then I dissected the other half and ate just the meat out of it. And I'm like, she's sitting there watching me take it apart. I'm like, it's really good. I just am full and I want to eat a little bit more. But, um, Left her a nice tip. That was good. I like taking care of my people, and she took really good care of us. So in that process, I went, okay, our here we go with the cars again. Our rental car is to be picked up by 10 a.m. Our flight will be there, because I called, and they said, you, you've got 24 hours, you're fine. We'll be there at 9 o'clock. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's going to be a problem. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's always a problem, honestly. So we get there and they, we, we made it in time. We take the van over to the rental car place. We get there and they're like, well, we don't have any small cars because your reservation was for yesterday at 10 a.m. And blah, 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 blah. And we held it for 24 hours, but now we don't have that car anymore. I'm like, and she's like, it'll be $20 more a day for the next upsize car. Plus, you'll have to pay $7 a day for your additional driver. I'm like, well, he's not driving. I'm just driving. And I'm the only one because I'm not paying $7 a day for 14 days. Anyways, so I'm like, no, I'm not paying more for this. I rented the car. I paid for it. It's paid in full. You should have that car sitting in your lot for those seven days that are the 14 days that I booked it. You shouldn't give it to the next person. It's crap. I don't understand the way that is acceptable. So I called. I called Priceline and said, I need to cancel my car. She said, okay, we'll issue the refund, which was great. They did issue the refund and everything was fine. But now I'm sitting at the airport without a car and without a way to get to my aunt's house, which is two hours away. So we picked up the phone, called our, our lovely chauffeur, and she's like, ah, but she came two hours. So I'm like, what's close to here where we can get out of this hot? Oh, it was hot already because it was 1130 in the morning. And so next door, thank you that it's the way it is and they're everywhere. It was a McDonald's. You know what McDonald's has? It has food and bathrooms and Wi-Fi. And we pulled out our computers and we sat on our computers and we visited. Terry had a breakfast sandwich when he was hungry and I got my free birthday chicken McNuggets and we had, an, oh, and bottomless drinks. That's the other one. I had a soda and used the bathroom whenever we needed to. We waited the two hours for my aunt to show up, which she did. And I love her to pieces for it. <sighs> Found out, cool story, side note here. The bullet train is getting ready to come to the town where she lives in, Fort Pierce. And I'm so excited because that means we can get from the airport to here in no time at all. And um, she won't have to drive to get us. And we can rent a car here and all the things. So, yay! 
And then when we looked into the vouchers, I called to see if we could use the vouchers to rent a car because um, United teams up with, uh, I think, Avis and one other one, Budget or something. But you can't use them unless you're using it on a flight or in-flight foods, which is kind of cool. We might use that. Um, but it is, we each got $1,000, so we have $2,000 sitting in our account. I need to put yours into the account too, by the way. Um, and it's not like you can get two tickets. It's like I can get as many tickets as I can with that money. So if I go buy two $200 tickets, I still have $1,600 left, um, which is really cool because we're wanting to go to Michigan and we're wanting to come back out here to Florida. And there was somewhere else we had talked about. Oh, going to LA and going on a cruise. Yay. We have a house full of people right now. So I'm going to be looking at reasons to get out of the house. And, you know, a cruise would be kind of a nice break. And snorkeling and diving and swimming and all that stuff. So, anyways. Yeah. It was, mm, it was a lot. And more people are coming and I'm going to have to get off of here because it's going to get loud in the house. But I'm ready for bed. It was nice sleeping on a regular bed. Not my bed. A regular bed and not an air mattress. But I'm really ready to be away from that. 